The Union Minister of State for Defense has said that the process for obtaining Cabinet Committee on Securities approval for design and prototype development of AMCA fighter jet has been initiated, and due to a number of very special features such as three-dimensional thrust vectoring, supercruise capability, stealth capability, diverterless supersonic intakes, advanced avionics and artificial intelligence. The fifth generation AMCA aircraft will be costlier than the fourth generation aircraft. The AMCA is designed to have a top speed of Mach 2.15, that is around 2600 km per hour, and will have a combat range of 1620 km. The Union Minister of State for Defence has said that the construction of five fleet support vessels for the Indian Navy is currently at advanced stage of negotiations that are to be built by Hindustan Shipyard in collaboration with transfer of technology from Anadolu Shipyard of Turkey. The order is worth over 22,000 crore rupees, and Hindustan Shipyard aims to deliver all the five ships in about eight years from signing of contract. The Military Engineer Services has released a tender for soil investigation at a location in northern Goa, that is being done before starting the construction of a testing facility for Rampage missile. The Indian Air Force had cleared the procurement of the 250 km range Rampage air-launched ballistic missile from Israel in early 2021, that can be fired from Su-30 Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 fighter jets and it can destroy an entire air force base, munitions storage fortified bunkers, air defense sites and logistics centers. The Ministry of Defense has released a request for proposal for the supply of 5,000 units of 122mm grad rockets per year for a contractual period of 10 years. It includes 2,000 units of 122mm Grad BM extended range rockets with 40 km range, and 3,000 units of non-extended range rockets with 20 km range per year, for a contractual period of 10 years. The RDO's Defense Electronics Research Laboratory is developing a new advanced ground-based electronic warfare system known as Himshruti for mountainous terrain requirements of the Indian Armed Forces, and the command post software for the Himshruti EW system is being developed by Center for Development of Advanced Computing. It will be capable to jam data links, radar links and satellite links of more than 10,000 square kilometers of area, and will disrupt enemy tank communication, suppress enemy artillery observation post communication, as well as mobile and satellite communications. The private sector firm Astro Defense has developed the Indra Modular Rifle, that comes in six different calibers and five different configurations, with more than 75% parts commonality. New innovative features have made the rifle modular lightweight ergonomic compact and highly accurate and reliable in most difficult operating conditions. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited has been asked to immediately start work for localizing the production of Ukrainian gas turbine engine components for naval ships, as the company had already signed a cooperation agreement with Soria Mash Project for local manufacturing and maintenance of marine gas turbine engines. Zoria Mash Project has already supplied gas turbine engines for the first two advanced Alwar class ships that are currently going through assembly and fittings in Russia, but the third and fourth frigates under construction at Goa shipyard are likely to be delayed due to unavailability of engines. The DRDO has released a request for proposal for the fabrication and supply of 40 units of rocket motor assembly for its very short-range air defense system, and the total quantity will be realized through two companies. This indigenous man-portable air defense system will be ready by April 2023, and it will weigh around 15 kilograms, and the missile for this system will feature a multi-spectral optical seeker, and will have an operational range of 7 kilometers. The Indian Army has cleared the Danush Howitzer after its successful firing demonstration on 8 March, and as per latest reports, 
the advanced weapons and equipment India Limited will deliver the first batch of 12 howitzers by the end of May, and another 8 units in July, that will lead to the creation and deployment of the 1st Danush Regiment. The ISRO has successfully carried out the ground testing of the newly developed solid booster stage for its new small satellite launch vehicle, and the testing has given sufficient confidence to proceed with the first developmental flight of the SSLV. The remaining stages of SSLV have successfully undergone necessary ground tests, and are also ready for integration. Oh,